without using a calculator, determine the value of the following. Let me quickly just talk to you a little bit about what this actually means. So I'm just going to look at the first one. It's a sigma notation, which I know some of you don't like sigma notation. But let me, let me show you what this actually means. Um, what we'll do is, or the way that this works, is they start with this number here at the bottom, which is a 3. And you plug that number into this equation. Okay, so you plug that number in. There we go. Then you say plus. That is what sigma notation actually means. It means add all of the terms together. What you then do is you plug in the next number, which would be a 4. So you plug in a 4. Then you plug in the next number. And you keep going until you reach this number at the top. That is what sigma notation actually means. OK, so I'm just going to fast forward a little bit to whenever we would have used the a 9. Or let's use an 8, then a 9. And then eventually we would have used a 10. And I've skipped a few numbers in between. OK, so that is what that means. Now, in another color, I'm going to I'm going to, um, well, actually, first, I want to just simplify these numbers. So that becomes 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 dot, 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 probably a whole lot of other numbers, plus 1 over, in fact, I'll just put the other numbers there for you guys. It's not going to be that long. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. And then I'm carrying on 1 over 6, 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8. Okay, so that's what this part over here is. Now I'm going to do uh, this part over here. So you just start with the three. So it's one over three minus one plus one over four minus one, one over five minus one, one over six minus one. And then I'm just going to simplify one over two, one over three. 1 over 4, 1 over 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. OK, now what they want us to do is they want us to um, take the top expression, which is the one in red, and they want us to subtract the green expression. OK, so they want us to take this one minus this one. Now, what you should identify is that um, the halves are going to cancel when you minus them. The thirds are going to cancel. The fourths, the fifths, the sixths, the sevenths, and the eighths. And so this always happens. I've seen so many questions like this. You're always going to be left with the first number and the last number. It's usually like that. And so you literally now are just going to subtract those two from each other. And so therefore, your answer is just going to be 1 minus 1 over 9. And so that's going to be 8 over 9. OK, and that's how those questions usually work.